What's up everybody and welcome back to another Torch Drift update, another banger update from the game devs. As you can see on the bottom, we do have drivers, we do have neons, and we have the Gingerman grid life track. It is here. And if you see in the background, George K's car, it's got a big wang. So if you guys aren't playing this update, you guys need to update your game, but I feel like everybody has updated their game. So just a few things that they did add into there. Of course, George K's car now has his new livery and the big wing hustler underneath and uh it looks pretty sick i like the carbon basically the carbon fiber front like his actual car now and uh looks like they got some little uh little bumper clasps there the attention to detail is actually incredible now that we also have drivers in the car that rotate full you know 900 degrees in the cockpit forza catch up what are you doing so we also have neons and stuff like that that have come into play which, oh, where to go? We do have some parts coming in for the 370, which does have neon. So big rebuild on the 370Z coming. So a lot of people are probably gonna wonder why the neons cost, you know, you know, the bullion money instead of actual cash. Well, you know, they're a bit expensive, but they're definitely cool. Neons are pretty still are cool and drifting. Personally, I still love them for drift cars and stuff like that. But they Torch Drift did give you guys the ability now to get free money every so often. So you can get those precious neons if you want. So we are going to go do the Gingerman Challenge at Grid Life here for today. And uh, we're probably going to be taking out the S14 because I feel like that's the car we're going to need to beat this challenge. I've only tried, I think, practicing on the Gingerman track like twice, maybe three times. So we're going to go all the way to the S14 and we're going to... We're just gonna go full send on this and see if we can't beat this challenge here today. Bang this thing up in the fifth gear. Kinda do a straight line entry because of the new rule change. That was not how I wanted to enter. But we're gonna get those uh, front close call points. So if you guys have beaten this challenge, oh boy, that was not the right way to do that. First time trying this, so definitely uh, a little bit shaky we're gonna try and get this before the end of this episode if you guys did this what car did you use because that was way off the clip what car did you use and uh how many times did it take you to get the score because it's pretty high up there for me 200 some thousand points for me in my uh score challenge so let me know if your scores are lower because of level i'd be very curious to see but uh, mine's, mine's up there, and that's this is not going to be the, the run that does it. I'm all over the track of this S14. I need to run a lot smoother lines. I need to run more higher angle, probably use the clutch kick a little bit more to get more angle. So yeah, definitely nowhere near it. So we're going to give this another shot. I've ran this once a little bit with a 370, and we were up there kind of close, but nowhere near it. I forgot I did uh, get too excited and try it right away because I was like, oh, I want to do this, but I didn't do it. And then I saved to try and do it here for you guys on this video. So we're going to take the S14 out one more time. I almost said 15. I can't speak today. I got an update fever going on right now, so we're going to initiate in. I feel like this car has the power and the grip to do what I need it to do. I just need to be able to do what I need it to do when I want it to do it. And try and get all these clipping points. I should be trying to get out to those walls as well. Get all the close call points. Lock the break up there. Really hard there. Run that shallow. This is a much better run than the last one. I feel like they've also changed the wall taps to where they're not as abrupt. And I don't think this is going to be enough either. Uh, no, not enough. This is actually a very difficult challenge, and it it's going to take some time to get up there and actually uh, get that 215,000 I want to get to get up there. But. We're going to keep trying this a couple more times here today. 
Maybe try some different cars, maybe try some pro cars. But we are gonna try and get this here for today. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Are you guys enjoying the updates? Are you guys excited for grid life? If you guys are gonna be there, that, that's even better. Be excited to see all the grid life content and everything coming out with grid life. People starting to get there. So I'm super excited to see all the grid life content and stuff coming out. Hopefully this track stays and maybe we'll get like an FD or a, a little tandem section out of it because it would be sweet to try and get some tandems here with other drivers on this track other than just myself in practice. This is a much better run. Oh, we almost lost all of our points there. Kind of hung that out a little bit too far. But, it's a better run than last time. But I still don't think it's gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. I don't even think it's enough to get the first tier. These things are high. these points are high. Oh my, I gotta get 180, 200, and 215 in order to even get any of these things. So, I don't know if this S14 is gonna do what it needs to do. We may have to pick another car and give it another shot with another car, but we really need to get as many close call points and make sure we get almost every single clip if we're going to want even a remote chance to get this 215. Trying to stay more angle. go. Going on a bit more angle there. No close call points, but there was no real close wall. We could have been a lot closer to that wall, and we did miss one clipping point, so that is going to be a major factor in our points, and so is that not linking that, because we came off that turn way wrong. This is rough. This is tough. This takes, uh, this takes almost those perfect runs in order to uh, get the points that you need to get in order to get the uh, the tiers in this. Torch Drift definitely bringing out a very difficult challenge. So I think we're going to give it one more shot with the S14 and then we'll switch it up to another car because, well, I want to get them. I want to at least get one. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad that I couldn't even get one. I have been seeing on Instagram a couple of people that I know are very good torque drift players. It took them a couple tries and a bunch of uh, expensive tires to uh, complete the challenge themselves. So we're uh, we're up there in the higher tier. So it's going to take us probably a little bit higher and a little bit more angle and points to uh, get what we need to get. We are getting all that was cheating but I felt like I needed oh and there we go that we lost it again I was trying to cheat a little bit but unfortunately that did not help so we were unable to get it with this s14 so I'm trying to think what car I should try next because the S14 is not gonna do it. So I will be bringing a full new rundown on the 370Z that I have in the works. So we're gonna go to the lobby and see what other cars we can get. I may need, I, I honestly think I might need that Viper, but I don't have it. I don't think Mad Mike's car will be good enough. Don Connordale's car, maybe Rad Dan Supra. We'll give Rad Dan Supra a chance. This thing in the fifth gear. This car has a lot of grip, so I don't think it's going to be where I need it to be. Nope, that's a that's a flipped that's flipped Supra. All right, we'll try Matt Fields' car. That car was not. 
I feel like I probably could have got it, but it was not gripping how I needed it to and getting it to where I needed it to in the beginning first section of this track, so. Matt Fields, maybe his, uh, maybe his Vetti will do me some good. I did miss one clip already, but I'm on a bit of better run than we were with Red Dan's car. Holding it out there, trying to get as much angle as possible. Jeez, oh god, that was a, uh, that was, that was a very heart-wrenching moment because we almost lost everything there, but I think this is going to be a decent run. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Kind of saved that one by the skin of our teeth there. It's not going to be enough either. But I feel like we were closer with this than we were this, with uh, the S14. So we're going to give Matt Fields' car another go and see what we can do in the Falcon Tires Wish Vet. This is a tough challenge, Torque Drift. You guys have uh, brought out a pretty tough one. And uh, I'm determined to get this. So. I was able to get the last chase challenge and stuff like that, but it took me a couple times. But now, we're on a score challenge where we have to be almost perfect. Better this time, we did get that clip this time, though. Almost lost it there again. I feel like I need to be running wider there, higher angle, maybe clutch kicking it more, getting more points, but trying to not crash at the same time, like that. That just went full send outside. So we're gonna try maybe one or two more cars here today before I admit defeat. And uh, I'm hoping we can get this accomplished because I don't want to end this without at least maybe getting it accomplished because Forsberg's 370 I don't think it's going to be nope I don't think Chris Forsberg's 370 has the power maybe beginning of the lap was not good, but the second part is a little bit better. Cut the grass. Using all that runoff. Quick transition flick there to... Oh, nope. And that run's done. So we can't crash at all. So I am not actually sure what cars I can use to get this. I think the S14 might be one of our best bets, but we're gonna try the VET. See if maybe the VET can uh, throw the angle and the speed that I want it to. That does have the grip I needed to have, so the placement of the car is a little bit better right now, so maybe that will be a helping factor and I can stretch out the turns with the handbrake on this car. So maybe, maybe the VET will be the car that we can use to get this. So worried about running out of power there. Didn't miss that point and I don't think I don't think we're gonna have enough. I mean, it seems like it's a much better run. But it is still not enough. Oh man, close. I feel like that is the almost the closest we've gotten so far. So maybe we need to try it again and in fifth. Definitely a very hard challenge. So if you guys are doing this challenge and you guys 
are having a hard time. You're not alone. I am struggling to and I don't think fifth gear, nope, fifth gear is not gonna work. So we're gonna try the vet again. I th feel like I should drop, I don't wanna drop the tires. Oh, game crash. Hopefully it loads right back up. It did not load right back up. So the game crashed, so maybe that's a sign that we need to end this episode off, but I want to give it one more shot in that vet because that was the best chance we had so far today. So we're going to go again, go to the vet, give it a try before we end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And where is the vet? Although we could try the Mustang. We'll try the Mustang. See what we can do with the Mustang. Supercharged Mustang. I mean, we're already way off clips, so. We'll give that one more go. Kind of entered in there. Very weird, very late. So I think I may have to admit defeat here for today's episode and try and get this later on so like i said let me know how many times it took you guys to get it what car did you use how many tries and what did you need to do in order to get this challenge complete because this is a rough one of the yep yeah, the mustang's definitely gripping up <sighs> one last try with the vet i know i keep saying one more one more but i really want to try and get this Probably their best bet was this vet. High angle entry, we did miss that clip, so hopefully we can make up for it with some close, close calls. One more close call there. So this is going to be the final run here we're gonna see hopefully we can get it but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen although we did get that we saved that I don't know how we saved that but we saved that run right, was super wide don't think this is gonna be it either we're going to have to probably admit defeat. So I wasn't able to get it, but we will try and get this another time. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys next time.